Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the radiator fan on this 2003 GMC Envoy XL. It's the same part and similar process on the regular Envoys from 2002 to 2009. And the items that you'll need for this is a new radiator fan from 1AAuto.com, T30 Torx driver, flat blade screwdriver, 13 and 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, fan clutch wrench, and a large adjustable wrench. Start off by loosening this hose clamp and this hose clamp, and then removing this T30 bolt up here. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does that. And technically you don't have to remove the air duct, but it does make it a lot easier to see down in there and uh, route the belt and things like that. Now pull this hose free. And then lift that air intake hose up and out. Next, you want to locate your serpentine belt diagram, which is located right here on the shroud. And you just want to refer to this as you're trying to put the belt back in place and make sure that you have one of these before messing with the belt. Then using a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet or a 15 millimeter wrench and another wrench for extra leverage, just push down on the tensioner and then pull the belt up and over that center pulley. Carefully relieve the tension on the tensioner. Now pull your serpentine belt up and out. Using a 13 millimeter wrench or a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, you want to just loosen up these four 13 millimeter bolts on the fan. And what you want to do is you want to loosen them up enough that you can manipulate them by hand, uh, loosen them, and then just tighten them back in by hand. Uh, so loosen them up, again, make sure they move by hand, and then just kind of finger tighten them back into place. This is a fan clutch pulley wrench and just has a couple studs at different angles. We're going to use the narrow ones and the pulley has four holes in it. So you put it down in and it fits in and then hold the pulley and put a large wrench down in. have it loose you should be able to just I'm just holding the pulley with one hand and twisting the clutch off with the other you want to uh, twist it so that the fan clutch comes most of the way off that shaft and once it's most of the way off then just take those four 13 millimeter bolts out that hold the fan blade to the fan clutch. So before you get the clutch all the way off, shake the fan back and forth and loosen it from the clutch. Okay. Then you kind of reach through the fan, hold on to the clutch, and twist the water pump to get the fan clutch all the way off. Okay. Now, you can start to pull the fan up and the clutch will come with it. Once you get it to about this point, now we're gonna, on this side, disconnect this harness. Pry out behind where the harness plugged in to release that clip. And so now, just try to work the fan. Reach in behind the fan and pull the clutch back up and through the fan. Once you've pulled it through, you can lift the fan up and out. And 
and then the clutch pulls right out. On the left is the old radiator fan, on the right is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. The smooth side of the fan faces the front, the uh, bladed side of the fan faces the back. Put it down in, put the uh, clutch into place. Making sure that the harness is going off to the driver's side. And then carefully lower the fan and clutch back down into the car. And once you get it down underneath the shroud, just push the clutch out of the fan. Put this harness connection back into place. And once you have it lined up, just hold it there and push that clip through. And then reconnect your harness. Make sure your fan is all the way down and then pull your clutch up and back through the fan and onto your water pump pulley. And then just turn the pulley to twist it back into the clutch. And then make sure your fan's lined up on the clutch and replace those four bolts and tighten them back up. Now just twist the clutch back on as far as you can. Once you have it on there as far as you can turn it by hand, just use your fan clutch wrench and your adjustable wrench and tighten it back up the rest of the way. As you go to put the serpentine belt back in place, just refer to this belt diagram again. And you want to make sure it follows this exactly. Put the belt back on, just feed a loop down to your biggest lower pulley, which is the crankshaft pulley. And make sure it goes around that. And pull it up over your top pulley, which is your water pump. And then feed another loop down to your power steering or hydraulic pump pulley. Okay. And then bring it back here to your tensioner. And you're ready to reattach it. Put your wrench or socket and ratchet onto the tensioner and pull back on the tensioner and just push your belt underneath that center pulley and carefully release the tension and make sure your belt is on all the pulleys correctly. Now feed your air intake hose back down into place and make sure it's pushed on all the way. and then push this end back into place and then tighten up those two hose clamps and now tighten up the T30 bolt we hope this video helps you out brought to you by 1aauto.com your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet
please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.